Today, we have beyond amazing news that we think will motivate you a lot. We wanted to share our happiness with you too. I'll talk about some figures that you'll be surprised by when you hear. I'm sure you'll be as happy as we are. There are also a few sad news. These may be as sad as the other news are good. Along with these, we have an obstacle in front of us, a situation we need to overcome. I will also share this with you as well. Yes, what has happened in Towards Eternity in 2022? Let's have a look. You know how a person dreams of certain things? There have been some developments that are beyond our dreams. Our first YouTube channel, our Turkish channel Sözler Köşkü, reached 3.18 million subscribers. The annual subscriber growth appears to be 467.7 thousand. It received 124 million views last year. What does 124 million mean? Just think, we're not talking about a slime making video. We're talking about videos in which the greatest truth in the universe, in which the faith is mentioned, and they receive 124 million views. Of course, on the other hand, Towards Eternity stands out with 844,000 subscribers. There's an increase in 526,000 subscribers in one year, about 60,000 more than the Turkish channel. As if it says, I will pass the Turkish channel. It received 28.7 million views this year. You're seeing one of the most viral videos of our channel right now. Joram Van Klaveren's video has 3.7 million views and 14,000 comments. There are comments that will increase your motivation as you read them. And not only in this video, but in many videos, our brothers and sisters are sharing their feelings with us. There are contents that have been worked on for days, weeks, sometimes months. And recently, alhamdulillah, our views have started to increase. Now we are coming to other languages. This is the other exciting part. Because English is not the only spoken language in the world, of course. Towards Eternity Urdu, a brand new channel, has reached 40,000 subscribers, alhamdulillah. We also shared our viral Qatar video on that channel. And it got 330,000 views. Tariq khud ko dohrati hai. ये तारीख में पहली मर्तबा नहीं हुआ कि इतने लोगों ने इस्लाम को अच्छी तरह जाना Towards Eternity Indonesia 35000 subscribers Mari kita mulai anggaplah ini hari Jumat dan kau ada di sebuah ruangan Towards Eternity Arabic 113000 subscribers لذلك ظنوا أن الإسلام يمكن أن يكون متشابها لهؤلاء المتعصبين We have a strategy on the international side there are more than 300 languages in the world, and it's very difficult to produce content in that many languages, of course. So we said, let's identify the big, widespread languages and produce content in those languages. And then other people can take our content and translate them into their own languages. That's why so far, we have tried to produce content in five languages. Turkish, English, Urdu, Arabic, and Indonesian. In addition, we are trying to launch new channels in other widespread languages, such as Russian, German, French, and Spanish. But we also said there was bad news. So what is it? Alhamdulillah, there are great developments, but there's a problem which is spreading all over the world. Unbelief. Look at the statistics in some countries. Yes, the news we just gave were very good, very motivating. But on the other hand, there is such a big fire that what we have managed to extinguish by the grace of Allah is only a small part in the forest. If these works grow and we can be an inspiration to people, then this fire will go out. I said at the beginning that there is an obstacle that we cannot overcome. You may be wondering what that is. The obstacle is this. I talked about all these languages, Spanish, English, Urdu, Arabic, but none of them is the most widely spoken language in the world. There is another language, Mandarin. The language spoken by 1.1 billion people in China. We are talking about a place where more than 700 million atheists live. The system itself raises children with an atheistic philosophy. Moreover, China is a closed system. You know, you cannot say, let's make a YouTube video, because there's no YouTube, there's no Twitter in China. Even for TikTok, they produce one TikTok for themselves and one for the rest of the world. Let's say you uploaded an Islamic video on their system. What happens? The video is deleted immediately. On top of that, as the uploader, you get into trouble, because your personal information is there too. It's the most widely spoken language. This is the vision of the Prophet ﷺ. Were all the companions there while he was giving the farewell sermon? No. Where were they? They had spread to different parts of the world and were making da'wah. There is even a tomb of a Sahabi in China. And if we are working for the same cause, if we are following his path, 
Shouldn't we try to take this truth to the most remote places in the world? We are trying to extinguish this fire with our 35, 40 brothers in our medrese and with our teammates who are helping us remotely online. But in how many languages can we launch channels in this way? After a certain point, this exceeds our capacity. We are insufficient in terms of both human and financial resources. Therefore, it's necessary to stop the mother tongue adventure somewhere. But how will this truth reach other people? How are we going to solve this? When you want to start a channel in a new language, we can't just say, let's do it. We have to hire translators, we have to hire a paid team of seven, eight people. There's a serious financial burden here. Alhamdulillah, there are people who support our organization with donations, but it is limited. It helps to a certain extent. As we were thinking, how can we solve this problem? What can we do? We need to reach them too. This idea came to our minds. We said, let's try to produce content in the most widely spoken languages. And for other languages, other people can take our content and translate them into their languages. This is already allowed. We have also seen a good example of this. Do you know that this happened in the Uzbek language? Our Uzbek brothers have shared some of our videos on the Medina Studio TV channel. And three of these videos have passed 1 million views. There are different videos that have been watched hundreds of thousands of times. If the same model Model can be applied in other languages, then we can produce content in 50 languages. There's a Muslim teenager in his room somewhere in the world right now, and he has religious doubts in his mind. If we don't reach out to him, he may lose his Iman. Another young person in another part of the world is in need of Dawah to Islam and could not discover the meaning of life. In a big void of meaningless in his life, maybe he's thinking about suicide. We need to reach out to him. Someone needs to get him out of the dark pit he is in. Or imagine the situation of a Muslim mother whose son has left the religion. Her heart is in pieces. Shouldn't we reach out to that son too? There's a sweet, innocent boy somewhere else. And if we don't reach out to him in time, maybe he will have a really bad life when he grows up. Think about old people. They tell you that their life flew by so fast, right? If we cannot reach out to that teenager right now, if we cannot pass him the truth that is like a life jacket in our hands, what kind of a person will he be in 50 years? Perhaps when he looks back at his past, he will see a life full of sins. He will live a life that he has not been able to collect anything in terms of good deeds. A life almost gone bankrupt. And we, on the other hand, will perhaps be responsible for not trying our best to reach out to them. We have a big concern, a big cause. We don't know how it will be, but we also have a goal of entering China in 2025. Allah is the one who is the creator of all causes. He can make everything possible. We will only focus on our part, do what we are responsible of. We will work, make dua, and leave the rest to Allah. Of course, while this is on our shoulders, you also have a different responsibility. Alhamdulillah, we have many projects like the ones we mentioned. We want to make the voice of Islam, the voice of the cause for which our Prophet ﷺ went through a lot of difficulties be heard in the whole world. And we need to provide financial means for these projects. At the same time, we need to have brothers and sisters who can help us as volunteers in the languages we want to produce content. Only if we are together, we can lift this stone. We cannot do this alone. This is not just my cause or the cause of one brother or one sister. It's the cause of you and all of us. We are a big family, the Towards Eternity family. If you want to support and become a part of this khair, this goodness, you can contact Towards Eternity on WhatsApp.